What's up everyone, and welcome to the Syndicate of Souls second open alpha. We received a ton of feedback from testers in the first playtest, and have been hard at work implementing new features and responding to your suggestions with improvements to our current systems. So let's go over some of the bigger changes you should expect coming into the game. The Dreamfall Grove and Deserted Stronghold, the 5v5 and 3v3 maps respectively, have been restructured. We felt that the previous maps were far too large, and a lot of time was spent wandering around empty spaces to deal with a split pusher or awkwardly pathing through the jungle to reach the lanes faster. The more compact map allows for hotly contested objectives such as the Dragon and the new late game objective to be more accessible, encouraging team fights for objectives and towers. In addition to reducing the overall size, we've also added brand new objectives as part of our broader jungle changes. The jungle has been substantially reworked, allowing players to use it as an extra source of income without enforcing junglers as a role. Each basic jungle camp now responds on a global timer, allowing for the whole team to take camps without worrying about depriving other teammates of income. In addition, monsters slain in the jungle drop a new item, Ember Shards, which appear in the inventory of whoever delivers the final blow. Shards are used around the map at shrines that grant a special benefit to your team, such as a beacon that provides vision or a portal that teleports your teammates closer to the action. The dragon provides a different benefit when slain. In addition to giving every teammate gold, it drops obsidian shards, which can be used in the shop to acquire powerful consumables that give a huge boost to tower pushing. We've also taken time to rebalance the monsters to be more fair to fight at all stages in the game, and the dragon is now patrolling its home and attacks nearby retainers on site. In addition to the dragon, we've added a new late game objective. Lady Tassara is a monstrous hydra, with massive health, damage, and even her own unique abilities. She's very difficult to take down, even with a full team, but provides a huge buff to your minions for an extended period when she is slain. Talents have been reworked as well, putting an emphasis on general power rather than hyper-specific benefits. Each talent page now has 10 points instead of 30, and each talent now only costs 1 point. Selecting any talent in a tree unlocks an additional row until the capstone at the bottom is reached. Each tree can only have 7 points at most, so choose wisely. Many of the talents themselves have also been completely reworked, removed and replaced entirely, or sometimes just simply rebalanced, and have been organized into three major trees. Potency gives huge benefits to burst damage, while enhancement is best for sustained fighting, and resonance provides utility for you and your team. With all of these changes come changes to our core systems and UI. For example, all retainers now have an ultimate ability, and the active ability on the D key has been removed from all vessels. This will reduce the amount of buttons players need to worry about throughout the game without reducing the rich diversity of builds we've come to appreciate. Speaking of builds, the shop has also been reworked to make it easier to navigate. Now the search function also looks in the item text for results, rather than just the names of the items. Rage has also been reworked. Instead of requiring Rage to cast spells, Rage users gain a special effect when casting one of their spells with sufficient Rage. For example, Mir's Q empowers a single basic attack, dealing additional damage, but can consume 25 rage to instead empower 3 basic attacks. Additionally, rather than rage being locked at 100, it is now increased with additional resource, but the minimum rage threshold is no longer increased. Balance was a considerable pain point that many of our new players noted, and we've taken great consideration into making the game feel less hectic in the early laning phase. We've reduced damage across the board, especially in the early game, and have reduced power scalings to encourage high damage builds and slightly discourage tank carries. Some things are beyond repair. We've also removed health regeneration as a stat, and added new options to regain health in lane and in the late game. Towers now restore health to nearby allies, consumables that regenerate health have been buffed to scale with level, and new talents and a jungle objective have been added, which restore extra health. Finally, crowd control chains have also been addressed with an all new mechanic that applies diminished returns to extended crowd control chains to prevent locking down someone for an unreasonable duration. Thank you for watching and to all of our Patreon supporters who financed this project. To keep up to date with all things Syndicate of Souls, subscribe to us across the web and join our Discord. I hope to see you in the next open alpha, scoring some awesome plays.